Hello guys, this reading is for the air sign. So that would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It's intended for the sun sign, but it also may be relevant for your moon and rising signs. So just keep that in mind. Trine. Trine is the word I'm getting. So you may be supporting someone or helping someone in some way, working together with someone. Or maybe there's something about the number three. Third house is communication, contracts, agreements. I think, <laughs> I'm not an astrologer. Um, I think that's right. And, um, or this could be something that has to do with a sibling, even if it's third house. What else? I apologize for the noise. I have a really loud heater. It's cold here. It's not as cold as it was the other day, but it's still cold. Anyway, what else do we have for the air signs? Y'all, there's something about the number three, because I heard trifecta too. Maybe some of you hit the jackpot in some way. Yeah, something's coming to an end. I don't know what that's about yet, but let me see if I get anything else before I finish shuffling here. complete. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Maybe, I don't know. I said ending a while ago and then the word complete came up anyway. So I don't know what this is about. I'll just draw the cards and find out. I've been doing readings for a little while. So I have to admit, I'm kind of getting tired and hazy with it, but I'll do my best to see what comes up for the air signs. Oh boy. You saw how quickly that came out. A legal settlement could have something to do with the sibling, could have something to do with the number three, could have something to do with communication, contracts, agreements, or negotiations. It could be that this is coming to an end since I got that word. Could be a Libra involved or a Sagittarius or a Virgo. There was some sort of situation that involved a lot of smoke and mirrors. I also get attention to this snake eating itself, an endless cycle. Could be a Capricorn involved as well. Somebody was very stubborn about some sort of legal matter. And I'm just going to be honest with you, for some of you, it may be sexual in nature. That's not going to be for everybody. It also could have something to do with your belief system about daily duties, daily routines, or health. Yeah, I, I, I detect a very big stubbornness regarding some sort of legal settlement. You, the way that popped out, I know this is for you. Yeah, because of some sort of legal settlement, you're using caution, trying to move slow, creating illusions, trying to feel into a situation I get the feeling of, oh, but what did I get myself into? I don't know if that's the truth, but that's what it feels like. It could be about some close one-on-one -on -one relationship.
I heard the word tied too. I don't know what that means. You're tied to some sort of legal settlement and you're being very cautious regarding this settlement as it relates to some one-on-one -on -one relationship. Maybe that one's for the air signs. Oh, you fear that something from the past is gonna come up again because you were arrogant and kept score. Could be a Taurus involved. Also could be about family for some of you or a move, um, your home, your roots, your stability, something like that. Your requirements is, some, I don't know what this means, but there was something about your requirements. Some of you may have been um, messing with drugs, not everybody, but some of you may have been. I'm seeing Virgo again. So some of y'all may be dealing with a Virgo. Mm -hmm. Whatever this is, you're feeling very crunched about it. It's also could be um, something to do with a rebirth or a birth. You took some sort of legal advice potentially here because we are talking about a settlement. There's a lot of cards to come up at one time. I'm not gonna count these, but I'm gonna look at them. Fearful, trying to calm yourself about traveling or creating distance and being vigilant. So maybe you took some sort of legal advice to take off and to leave something alone for some of you. Again, that's not gonna be part of the reading. That's a side note. Mm hmm Okay, so you fear something coming up from the past, so you took some advice that time is up to end it or to let it um, expire. It could even be that. You let a, a legal situation expire or end or exhaust itself in some way. Mm -hmm. You took legal advice to either end a choice or to exhaust a choice in order to protect yourself. because you had some sort of internal conflict about this legal matter that you don't want to address. Interesting. This brought you peace. For some of you, it could have something to do with a partnership or agreement or contract also. The center of the reading is saying this is all about your belief system about an ending, a transformation, or shared resources. I just get the feeling that you didn't address something and you let it go past the deadline. I feel like I've had this reading for you before too.
some of you, um, you exhausted a choice, but you had internal conflict about a partnership, an agreement, or a contract, so you changed it. Some of you may have like renewed an agreement in order to exhaust a choice or end a choice. I'm not gonna know what this is about. This is something you'll have to figure out. Somebody gave you a hand to do this too. You didn't do this on your own. See if there's anything else coming up for the air signs. That one wants to come out. Ooh. Some of you may have come out and told the truth about this. If not, the truth may be coming out. Could be something like that. I feel like this is historical. This is stuff, it's old stuff that you're not letting die or somebody else won't let die. Some of you also could have um, agreed to make a change and to be honest, but you didn't. Yeah, you said, some of you said you were gonna be honest, but you took your time and you didn't do it because you were mad and you were fearful of loss. Yeah. Some of you may have been afraid that if you would have told the truth that it would cause a lot of problems. Could be that too. So I'm going to give you different things that catch my eye in different levels, so to speak, because I read the cards from side to side and then sometimes I just kind of go in and, and read what catches my eye. And then other times I'll read diagonal or, you know, it just whatever feels right. But to start with, there's some sort of settlement here. You're using caution. You exhausted a choice and changed it. Or you ended a choice and changed it because of honesty. And now you fear loss. Okay, that's for some of you. Some so sort of legal renewal was agreed upon, but you evaluated it and got mad and were fearful of loss, so you ended the choice or exhausted the choice. Some of you made a, some sort of legal change to end the truth about a settlement choice. Let me say that again, because I've lost myself in this reading. Hold on. You were mad about some sort of agreement and you feared loss because of some sort of advice. You changed, you made a change legal by ending the truth about a settlement choice and reevaluating and using caution about the conflict in order to renew it. I have no idea what that means. Either way, the point is the center of the reading, like I said, all about an ending, a transformation or shared resources. And again, a will inheritance or settlement is shared resources. So because of this settlement, 
Oh my gosh, both of these are eighth. You ended this settlement because you were mad. You were mad that somebody told the truth. Some of you could have told the truth about this to create conflict though too. It's going to be different for, again for everybody so take that as you will but i'm going to look at the numbers here you had a belief system about um health daily duties or daily routines as well as belief systems regarding a close one-on-one -on -one relationship that resulted in a family issue or a move or issues to your stability. But you hid that. Because of these shares, so that these shared resources would end or transform in some way. You hid your belief system about this one-on-one -on -one relationship Wow, and you kept communication hidden regarding a work situation. I don't know what this means, but that there's something like that that's going on. Regardless, the point is you intentionally ended a choice that you agreed upon for some of you. Yeah. All right. I'm tired. I'm going to let that go. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Bye, guys.